Yeah, let me just make a check now. Yeah, we are live uh, team. You can uh, take over and start the quiz. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'll just begin with an introduction to the cl uh, club. We're so happy to see all of you attending this quiz. A very good evening. We are the Rotary Club of Asmita Ulan from Ahmedabad. This was primarily an initiative begun by the students of Gujarat National Law University. Our Rotary Club aims to make social differences in everyday life, and we've and this event is part of our Earth Day program called Sunraksha on the theme protecting the environment. We are very happy to have here today the quiz, and I would like to give a small introduction about the quiz master himself. Our quiz master for the day is Diganto Sarkar, who is currently pursuing his BCom honors from the Maharaja Sayaji Rao University of Baroda. He has participated and won various quizzes over the years. Some of his most recent achievements are, the, are being the national finalist in the CBSC Heritage India Quiz and a Western Zonal finalist in the Tata Crucible Campus Quiz 2021. He right now runs his own quizzing agency named Quiz Curate, and which undertakes quiz hosting services. We are very happy to have you here today. Thank you. Over to the quiz master now for the quiz to start. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was a good description. Okay, hello everyone. So I am Diganku Sarkar, whom you have heard. So I'll be uh, sharing the screen right now and I will be going through the instructions one by one. So be patient and we'll be starting the quiz in a couple of minutes once I'm done with all the instructions. Right? Okay, so let just any of the team members can mention me. You can proceed. Right. So, welcome everyone to Curiosity, the environment quiz. So, the 22nd, recently we had World Earth Day. And the whole week has been, as Kavya already announced, GNLU and Rotaract Club of Asmita Uran. They have this whole couple of days week planned out with activities related to the theme of environment. And I will be hosting today's quiz called Curiosity. So this is a presentation by Quiz Parade, uh, my quizzing agency that I undertake. I have also participated in many quizzes, and so I decided that let's make my passion an opportunity kind of a job for me. So this is what I do. Something included what I do, basically. So this is in association with the Rotaract Club of Asmita, whose tagline, as you can see, is through boldness to the stars. So about the quiz master, Kavya has already mentioned something about me. Short uh, history about me that already has been mentioned. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And yeah, I look much better in a photograph rather than in life. So I decided to include one of my photographs where I was participating in one of other quizzes, basically. So I hope you enjoy this short set. So moving on to the instructions of the quiz. So there are 20 questions in the quiz, uh, each carry one point. There are no negatives, so feel free to take a guess. Uh, they are to be answered in the Google Forms, which have been sent to all the participants in a group or to, through email also, as I have been said. And the answers could range from one word to one sentence, but like every answer needs a keyword. So for example, if the answer is, because apple is sweet. So instead of writing four words, even if I get those two keywords, that is apple and sweet, you will get your point. So you can uh, go through those questions and understand uh, what will be happening. So every question will have around a time of 10 seconds for each question, depending upon question, but 
like around 10 seconds and afterwards uh, i change the slide to the next question ties will be resolved using timestamps so what happens is when you answer through the google forms after you press submit your time of submission is recorded to an excel sheet so in case we have ties for the billing positions uh, we will be resolving it using the timestamp basically who answered who submitted the earlier so basically do not try to search from anywhere don't google think firefox or any other browser don't look around for anywhere for answers because the more time you look around for answers the lesser time you get to submit and chances of you getting plus basically enjoy the quiz in itself uh, yeah, enjoy the quiz uh, don't be too competitive to just win the quiz that you forget the ethics of uh, playing the quiz basically and keep on searching for answers around and later after i'm done with all the questions i'll be <coughs> moving in a reverse direction from question initially i moved from question 1 to 20 after the 20 questions are done i will be moving from question 20 to 1 but uh, it, uh, for only one or two seconds so that you can just revise your answers and once all the questions including if the revision is done, the form would be open for another minute or two so that you can submit your answers. And once I have said that, okay, I will be closing the answer sheet in a few seconds, I will be making a countdown of 10 to 1. Submit within that time. And if you aren't able to, that's absolutely your loss. So yeah, enjoy the quiz. And uh, since you already have your uh, Google Forms, I would request you to fill up your name, uh, contact number, email address and institution so that you don't have to uh, waste some of your precious time while answering your questions, actually I'm filling your details. So I will give you one minute and in a minute it will start. No, this is not an. Uh, no, I have. I'm kind of been speaking. There are no options in the quiz. You have to answer on your own. Yeah, no options again. And okay, I'll be starting the questions in uh, three. And yes, so first question: uh, As teenagers, as pre-adults basically in this age group everyone loves memes and so i wanted to start with this question with the meme is that after trolling apple uh, samsung and xiaomi did something they followed what apple did and saying that this had been done because of environmental protection the question is what did all of them do also ensure that you don't uh, type in your answers in the live chat so that uh, none of the other participants get an advantage very recent in the news so as the meme goes abe to meri nakal kar hai, that apple saying to samsung and xiaomi so what did all these companies do stating that uh, there was environmental protection because of this moving on to the next question so connect this only matches won by rcb that is royal challenges bangalore so first match was won in 2011 you have the scorecard and the second match was won in 2016. now think why am i saying that these are the only matches won by rcb we very well know that these are not the only matches won by rcb there are many more matches but there has to be some reason why i'm mentioning this only match so you have to state the reason you have the scorecards in front of you and the hint is the hint is the quiz itself the theme itself so 
think in that way why would i say that these are the only matches won by rcb the 2016 one was a remarkable match with de villiers and polis both scoring centuries i think they had the highest uh, partnership that year first wicket partnership that year so gujarat lions defunct after two years so yes connect this two matches basically uh, tell me why these are the only two matches won by the state the reason moving on to the next question which uh, well renowned logo or symbol uh, some people tell it is a logo some people tell it is a symbol so gary anderson and cca cca is a competition of america designed for a mobius strip so mobius strip is like a, a strip going in infinite ways so in infinite ways it can go so if you have watched uh, avengers end game you would know how it looks like a mobius strip it basically goes in an infinite wave it starts from a point it goes to the same point but it has so many strips so that's a mobius strip so both of the proposals uh, would make that half twist or two arrows fold over each other and thereby cancelling out one of the other folds Uh, but most of the variants have arrows folding over themselves, producing a Mobius strip with three half twists. So the actual designs had two half twists. The common designs have three half twists. So you have to tell me that uh, which famous, well-renowned logo or symbol has been talked about. Always remember that all these questions are related to the theme of the quiz, uh, that is environment. environment protection awareness so think on those lines what famous symbol so like the questions can be a difficult a bit difficult actually could be some they are tricky but uh, when you would think of the answers answers are pretty easy so think so maybe even your first guess which you might feel that okay this is very easy guess so in that manner also if you think mostly your first guesses would be correct okay enough time on the question moving on to the next question that is question number 4 so what is the name of the index so bsc that is from the stock exchange had launched uh, the first carbon efficient live index developed in collaboration with iim amdavad which basically measures the performance of companies in terms of how much they emit carbon so this new index so this is not a new index of 2021 this is a pretty old but i have taken it from the actual newspaper article so in that term it was a new index which comprises of 20 stocks based on minimum carbon footprint Market capitalization and turnover. So the BSC dash dash is the name of the index. Assesses the energy efficiency of the firms based on energy and financial data. So I need uh, what fills the blank or what basically what is the name of the index? You might not have heard of this index before, but if you think a little, you might just come up with an answer and. In most of the cases, it would be correct. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. So, which company's paper bottle initiative? So, paper bottle company or paper bottle company is an initiative by which uh, world global organization. so which organization am i talking about the answer is not obviously p p a b o c o or paper bottle company paper bottle community because i have already mentioned that right? so you have to tell me think uh, who would need more bottles uh why would you that company need more bottles and think in those lines question from a business world and uh, also environment friendly question 
PABOCO, Paboco or Paper Bottle Company, Paper Bottle Company. So which company, which global company has been running for many years. So many is many. Moving on. Uh, I think one of the most simpler questions, this vault in Svalbard, Norway, was built to face the test of time. So what does it store? If you know Svalbard, Norway, if you know a vault, you would know what it stores basically. So this was built, this vault was built because environmentalists and scientists thought that in case the earth would end or there would be some mass destruction, something had to be stored for future uses. So what has to be stored for, what has been stored in this vault? Moving on. So this is a graphic which uh, tells about an annual event started by Worldwide Fund Australia in 2007 and Sydney, which later spread all over the world. So tell me uh, which annual event slash commemoration does this graphic uh, represent or show? So starts and the graphic is pretty clear. There is a input output or power on button basically the power button yeah that's a lot of things so which annual event slash commemoration am i talking about so also another of simpler questions who is the protagonist of this book basically Dash and the Giants, inspired by Dash, and Stand to Save the World. So, written by Zoe Tucker and Zoe Persico, who is the protagonist of the book, or fill in the blank, basically. So, who is the person am I talking about? Uh, the book cover should give you a way would give you an answer thing very famous personality so the cover is the biggest thing i can do moving on to the next question question number nine fill in the blanks okay so sometimes environment is about terms and definitions and that is similar to that so a dash dash so two blanks so two worded answer is what is it right is total greenhouse gas emissions caused by individual event organization service or product which is expressed as a carbon dioxide equivalent so this term was popularized by the gas company BP, BP is British Petroleum, by the way, in a 250 million advertising. So they decided to advertise with this term for 250 million dollars. And uh, then this term came into being regarding total greenhouse gases. So basically, to restrict activities of fossil fuel companies. Ironical because BP is a petroleum company, and obviously, we are talking about fossil fuels. So yeah, this is an ironical event which was done by GP, but yeah, this term has been used many times in recent years because of the environmental degradation. Moving on. His name is John McConnell. So, 1969 UNESCO conference and Francisco. So, the person on the right is John McConnell, by the way. Don't confuse it with the person on the right. So, he proposed an observation and a concept of peace. First observed in March 1970, which was the first day of spring in Northern Hemisphere. Question is, what did he propose? So, basically, which observance or a concept of peace did he propose? So, the picture would give you a hint. And... Uh, theme, the theme is always the hint in all the questions. So, think John McConnell from 1969 UNESCO San Francisco Conference and what did he propose? 
Yeah. I am looking for a three word answer, yes. Three or two words before. So we are halfway done. Moving on to the next question, 11. Don't worry, I will be moving to the questions back again later. So again, and the definition of dash dash emission standards, BHDS, which are emission standards instituted by government of India to regulate output of air pollutants from combustion ignition engines and spark ignition engines equipment, including motors. So what does BS in BSES stand? So ES is emission standards. What is BS? So as you might have heard recently, BS six vehicles are currently what the government is requesting the manufacturers to come up with BS6, earlier it used to be BS4, I think they missed out on BS5, they did not even launch BS5, so from BS4 we are currently at BS6. So what does this BS stand for? So two words, always in news. Yeah, moving. So, where has this center been established? Center for Environmental Law Study, Research and Training, headed by Professor Dr. Shobhita V. Udapur, who took the initiative of to offer study, research, and expert consultation in environmental matters. So, question is, where has this been center been established? Basically, which institute, one of the eminent institutes of India, and the hint is this quiz itself. So if you had been from the start, that's a hint for all of the participants here. Yep, enough time, moving on. So what? So another two blank. So two blank is what we are looking. So think of X and Y as two blanks. So the dash dash is a symbol that represents likelihood of a man-made global catastrophe, which has been maintained since 1947 by members of Bulletin of Atomic Scientists. The dash, so dash is the second blank. So think of the two blanks as X and Y, and the after, and this is after Bulletin of Atomic Sentence, the Y. So that is the second blank. It's a metaphor for threats to atomic humanity. So you have to fill in the blanks. Tell me X and Y basically. Uh, X, Y, so dash, dash is what I'm looking, not just Y, not just X, but X, Y, representing hypothetical global catastrophe uh, as midnight and bulletin's opinion on how close world is global catastrophe as number of minutes or seconds to midnight. So the hint is in the question itself, so not providing any more hints for this question. Moving on. So fill in the blanks, as I have been told, most of our participants are supposed to be budding lawmakers, lawyers, so something from the world of legal appeal. So dash, 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 act. So again, fill in the blanks, three blanks. Act of 2010, number 19 of 2010, has been enacted with objectives to provide for establishment of dash, dash, dash. For effective and expeditious disposal of cases relating to environment protection and conservation of forests and other natural resources. So, which body or organization uh, does fill in the blanks of this question? Three question, uh, three blanks basically. What am I talking about? Which act or which body? Obviously, the three blanks are similar so i need that three word answer for this question two words or one word won't work i need those three words yeah so the question 15 this is we are two third so which country's environment ministry had uh, unveiled this environmental protection as course last year so every country is now worried with climate change for every country is thinking of bringing out something or other so which country did bring out these two mascots that you can see one on the left is something to do with earth or green green because of the green color and maybe the right one is to do with water and something the designs are creative the hint is a pretty ironic country to provide with environmental mascots but well, that country is unpredictable, to be honest. 
So yeah, that's enough hints for these questions. Moving on, question number 16. So ESRAG is a partner or sister group of which organization? So R is what I'm looking for. What does R stand for? R is the organization and ESRAG is the partner or sister organization group of this organization. What does R stand for? So R has been blank. And the hint is this quiz itself. So ESRAJ, Environmental Sustainability Dash Action Group. So what does the blank state which organization am I talking about? Moving on. Uh, Iconic movement, movement and event in Indian history. This of which iconic movement or event is So which movement or event am I talking about? Very iconic in Indian history. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So the picture is the hint, obviously black and white, so you can think the picture was taken many years ago. So think in those terms, think which iconic history, think what is the theme of the case. So moving on. So connect, Aja, Bhumi, Suiji, Artemis, Thor, and Flora. So this is not an exhaustive list. This is it. And in exhaustive list, I'll just mention six names from that list. So to connect, these six entities, if I may say, and what manner can these six entities be connected? So, I believe at least you might know what does one of them stand for. Any of them you might know, and then think on those what the list could be about. So, this is an inexhaustive list. I've just mentioned six. There could be multiple answers possible. I mean, of the same answer with multiple variations of the same answer possible. So think maybe a bit, bit difficult, but yeah, there are some giveaway hints in this question. Question number nine is the penultimate question. Scientific name, not a very big fan of science and mathematics, but yeah, here I am the question. So, Panthera tigris tigris elephas maximus endicus, Platanus tica gangetica, Ophiophagus hana, Pyophis tetus, Nelephonus tigra, Ficus gangalensis, and Mangifera indica. So, tell me how can I connect all these scientific names together? And uh, not an exhaustive list once again. There is another which you can say is part of the list. And I need a very specific answer for this because there is a reason which I have mentioned. There is another possibility of another name which can be added, but the hint is that it doesn't really have a, a scientific name to be precise. So think in that manner. If you know one of them, you might get the answer to the whole list. I don't need what is missing from the list. I need what connects all this or what is this list about. Very specific answer required. Moving on to the last question, and we'll do a reverse quickly later. But yeah, which day? I think, yeah, this is the simplest question. Burn dash day, 3rd March. Uh, quite not very recent, but yeah, one and a half month. So this is the logo of something. Logo of this. So you can see a, a UN logo basically. So World Dash Day celebrated or commemorated on 3rd March. So which day am I talking about? So yes, this is the end of 20 questions. I think this is the simplest one, so I won't be giving much time. So I'll be moving in uh, the reverse direction, but I won't be giving you much time like I did when I was reading the question. Only a couple of seconds for each question. So yeah. Moving on, question number 20 is World Dash Day. Which day am I talking about? Celebrated on 3rd March. Add these scientific names to their form part. The very specific answers. If you know one, you know the lesson. So, 
ओके क्वेश्चन 19 इज पैंथ्रेटिक रिस्क डिग्रीज एलिफस मैक्सिमस सिलिकस प्लेटानिस्टिका कैंजिटिका ओफियोफेगस हैना पैरो क्रिस्टेटस एलिफोनोक्सिप पैराफिकस बेंगालेंसिस एंड मैंगिफेरा इंडिका क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 अजर भूमि स्विजिंग आर्टेमिस थॉर एंड फ्लोरा सो कनेक्ट टू अ लिस्ट बेसिकली नॉट एन एग्जॉस्टिव लिस्ट येट अगेन इन एग्जॉस्टिव लिस्ट मींस there can be a lot more which can be uh, included in this list so you have to connect what list am i talking about so the answer possible so this pick uh, is related to which event or movement in india history the hint is the picture itself question number 16 esrkj so environmental sustainability dash action group what does r stand for which organization does r stand for question number 15 which country's environmental ministry uh, launched this mascots environment protection mascots so yeah which country am i talking about this Ironic country. I need just the name of the country. I don't need an explanation or anything why it was lost, who or or something like that. I just need the name of the country. Question number fourteen. Fill in the blanks. Dash 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 Act of two thousand ten. Organization called dash 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 itself. So what does dash 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 stand for? Which has been established for effective and expeditious disposal of cases relating to environment. protection and conservation question number 13 fill in the blanks yet again dash dash simple that represent like you know climate global catastrophe so fill in the blanks for this dash and dash stand for question number 12 center for environmental law study research and training headed by professor shobla takodakudi so where was this uh, has this been instituted uh, in center as the best in which institute question number 11 dash dash emission standards so bses so what does bs and bses stand for okay mm. the person on the right is john mcconnell he proposed something an observation an observance so which what did he propose basically could be a two word or three word answer Question number nine. Initially popularized as an advertising tagline or campaign. Two words which I am looking for. It is the total greenhouse emissions caused by individual and etc. etc. Nine basically. Which two words am I looking for? Question number eight is dash and the giants. Who is the protagonist? Basically, the person whose name has been blacked out from the book cover. The book cover is the head. Itself. Question number seven. The graphic was an annual event started by WWF Australia in Sydney and which led to spread all over the world. So, which annual event commemoration started by WWF Australia is this graphic about? Norway Svalbard Fault. So, what does this? So, what does this term is? Question number five: Paper bottle company, paper bottle community. Uh, Which companies initiated the initiative? Question number four: Name of the index BSC dash. Which company am I talking about? Uh, which index? Sorry, which index am I talking about? Fill in the blank. This could be an easy answer if you work it out. Question number three: Which logo or symbol move? Uh, move the strip with symbol. 
uh, which is an obvious term itself. Question number two. Only matches won by RC. Why am I talking that these are the only two matches which have been won by RC? And the first question was, what did Apple and Xiaomi do? Uh, Apple, Xiaomi and Samsung do this. Claiming environmental protection. I will be moving to the answers. Give me a moment. So, yeah. So, it's 7, 6. Uh, I will be providing another minute for all of you to fill in your Google uh, form responses. Responses. I'll be closing the form in another minute. So seven six. I will be closing it at seven seven. So, closing the form in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so I have closing the form. Yes. So, okay, so we had 76 responses. The recent response left, we had around 90 or 100 people or I guess watching the quiz. So yeah, that's a good number of responses. Okay, so moving on to the answer sheets. If you want, you can post it on the, yeah, great. So if you want, you can uh, share your answers on the live chat itself. Uh, you can just have fun basically. I'll just be sharing the answers. So first question, what did uh, share me Apple and Samsung do. So, so the Google Forms has been already closed, so as I already mentioned, since we have moved on to the answer. So, okay, yeah, basically, no charges. Apple decided to withdraw charges from the latest iPhone model, and everyone trolled them, even Samsung and Xiaomi, and then they were like, the opportunity are circling the big charges would save a lot of environmental costs, so they basically decided to remove charges. Obviously, you can use a phrase or something. Two words at least is required to remove charges or no charges, basically. At least these are the keywords which I'm looking for in the answer. Moving on to the question two. Only matches won by RCB in 2011 and thousands. 2016. Why am I talking about this? These were the only matches. Basically, these were the only matches which were won by RCB in green jerseys. So, RCB wears green jerseys every year to show environmental awareness and environmental protection. They have uh, played, I think, till date, 10 matches. And uh, so, 10 matches has been played by them. So, since 10 matches have been played, only they have won only two of the, those 10 in green jersey. So, in green jersey, green jersey is the uh, keyword. Yeah. So, which renowned logo or symbol? Mobius strip. This is the recycling symbol. So, the three arrow symbol basically. If you could see the, the Mobius strip, it is like a Mobius strip if you connect it because it goes on infinitely. So the recycle symbol is what I'm looking for. Question number four, name of the index, BSC dash. So BSC dash is green X. So green X is the answer. So if you just, as something like green and X because of index, you would have got the correct answer. So green X is the answer, which I was looking for. 
Uh, yeah, this is question number five. Which company's paper bottle initiative? The hint was that the company has to be involved in paper bottles, and the company's answer is Coca Cola. So, yeah, Coca Cola decided to launch this PAPOC or PAPOC or paper bottle community to launch their products. So, I don't think so. They have done it in full fledged manner till now, but yeah. Company dogs has already built that. Yeah, Coca Cola is what I'm looking for. Fault in Svalbard, Norway. This has seeds. So, agriculture seeds. Crops are not what I'm looking for. Seeds has to be the keyword. Crops is not, it won't be accepted. So, seeds, basically food grains or seeds. Not just food grains, obviously. So, seeds, yeah. So, which event? So, power symbol. Well, on and off. This is Earth Hour. The event is Earth Hour where you switch off all your electrical appliances at home and at public places to save like, energy. So, yeah. This is question number eight. Well, who is the person? Uh, like, uh, the person is Greta Thunberg. Greta, might be acceptable, depends on how you are doing. Yeah, spelling mistakes I will accept. If you have not uh, written like Donald Trump, yeah, Suchin Tandulkar and Swami Vivekananda is not acceptable. The spellings in that manner are not acceptable. They have to be legible at least. Yeah. So, question number nine fill in the blanks. What are the two blanks? The two blanks are carbon and footprint. So carbon footprint is what I was looking for. So initially started as an advertising campaign. Now it's a very popular term all over the world. So crops is not acceptable for the seeds one because the crops have the seeds are in seeds form itself, not in crops. So crops are like after the seeds have grown. So that's why crops and crops. That's why the crops is not accepted. So crops and seeds differ in basic definition. So seeds is the only answer which is acceptable. Question number 10, John McConnell. So the flag of Earth. So and the answer is Earth Day or World Earth Day. So there had to be a question on Earth Day or World Earth Day because the initial intent was because World Earth Day recently passed. And that's why we are doing this course. Question 11, BS is Bharat standard, basically for emission standards. So Bharat standard emission standards. BS, I need that to down. So when has this bill center been established? And as I said, if you had been from the start of the bill, this center has been established in GNLU, that is Gujarat National Law University in Gandhi Nagar. So it is part of that, I mean, it's I will accept GNLU, I will accept Gujarat National Law University, I will accept NLU Gujarat, I will accept NLU Gandhi Nagar, but I won't accept Law University of Gandhi Nagar or Law University of Gujarat. Then question number 13 is uh, uh, which symbol am I talking about? Which one, not a symbol, basically, but concept. Um, it is a symbol also. The answer is doomsday clock. So, doomsday clock says uh, that this is a catastrophe, that there is this. Um, you have to, there are only a few minutes to earth being closed if there is. Also, there was a mistake from my side. The answer for BSES yes, is actually Bharat stage. Sorry for the mistake. This Bharat stage and not Bharat standard. I confused it with Bharat's emission standards. So Bharat stage emission standards. Yeah, Bharat stage is the answer. So answer to question number 13 is, yeah. In is dash 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 is uh, National Green Tribunal that, or NGTBC. National Green Tribunal is only acceptable. I won't accept the abbreviation 
because NGT could mean a lot of things. So National Green Tribunal, and that is the name of the act. So National Green Tribunal is acceptable and not NGT because, as I said, abbreviations can mean a lot of things. So which country? The country uh, which launched this environmental protection mascots last year was China. So China was. So that's why it's a kind of ironical. So similar to India, because they are one of the bigger producers of pollution in the world. So they are launching these environmental mascots. But yeah, China is a lot of which we might not fathom. So yeah, China is the answer. So ESRAG, uh, sister or partner organization, group of which organization, the answer is Rotary. So Rotoract or Rotary both are actually, although Rotoract is much more a junior version of uh, Rotary, but I would still accept Rotorac. And as I said, the hint was this quiz because this has been organized by Rotorac Club of Asmita So, yeah, Rotary is much more preferred, but yeah, Rotorac would also be accepted. Question number 17 Which event? So, the picture shows that the women are clinging to the keys, and clinging basically means chipo. So, this is from Chipo movement. Question number 17, answer is Chipko movement. Question number 18, Aja, Bhumi, Swim, Artemis, Horror and Flora. So the answer which I was looking for, nature deities or nature gods, both are acceptable. So basically, all cultures, uh, some or the other way, worship nature in some or the other way. So I randomly picked up some names of the deities, nature deities from different cultures. And like Horus, God of Thunder. Flora is goddess of flowers. Bhumi means yeah, god of land, Bhumi or Prithvi. So yeah. Nature gods is acceptable. Gods of nature are also acceptable. Nature deities. Yeah. These are some acceptable answers. And so these are from some different cultures. 19. So which we have to connect this scientific name. So, Panthera tigris tigris is Royal Bengal Tiger. Second is the Indian Elephant. Third is the Gangetic Dolphin. Fourth, I am forgetting the fourth one. Fifth one is Pagocristatus or Peacock. Sixth one is Lotus. Seventh is Banyan. And eighth one is Mango. So, these are all national insignia of India which are related to nature. So, just national insignia won't do. Uh, no, these are not mammals, endangered mammals, because there are lotus and banyans, which is not a mammal, obviously. So, natural national insignia or natural national symbols of India is what I was looking for. And the one which is did not make it to the list because of no scientific is that Ganga, that is the national river of India. So, national symbols of India or national insignia won't do it. I need that natural because... <laughs> I would have included national flag or also that. And I said that only one of <coughs> And the last question, which day? This is World Wildlife Day. As you can see, there is an earth, there are animals and flora, fauna all around. So World Wildlife Day, as I can say, this is the World Wildlife Day, which was celebrated on 3rd March. So, this was earth so wildlife is the blank so wildlife and world wildlife day or wildlife day all the other i needed the word wildlife in your answer so yeah these were the 20 questions i hope you enjoyed so this was a presentation by chris Craig. yeah uh, organization by me agency closing order and you could contact me on the given number or the given email address for more such quizzes i have also done uh, some quizzes back in past. I am more of a participant, but I have been doing quizzes. Also, you should subscribe the channel of Satyanam Virajan. There are multiple quizzes which have been done by lot many quiz masters over time. So you can find many quizzes of this. Yeah, one of my older quizzes is also now. So yeah, this is it. Thank you, everyone. I hope you had a good time today. Uh, answers, so there have been 76 responses. Answer would be 
the you know the answers already so you will get the i need to at least that r to check all the answers so yes i hope all of you enjoyed thank you uh, so yeah organizers will take care of announcing the results Ask them on the whatsapp group i think uh, if any one of the team members they want regarding anything else you can go ahead Yeah, so um, we just want to thank everyone who attended here and the quiz master for graciously accepting our, our offer to come and conduct the quiz. Thank you once again. Uh, all the participants will be getting the results, I think, on the WhatsApp group there might be, and even by email. We have your email IDs and group you will be getting to know your results through the email. Thank you once again for joining us. So I'll end the live stream, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks, Rina. Thanks, uh, Kavya, Harshit, Anisha. See you later. Bye.